Live. Chez Zelle Crepery and Coffee House serves fresh crepes and robust coffees. And you can see, smell, and enjoy your meal because they make it right in front of you. Chef Josh is here with Chez Zelle, and welcome to the show. Thank you. And we have a crepe maker, crepe yep, iron. This is a crepe iron. Ready to, ready to go. Yep. What are you making for us today? Today we're going to make a what we call a Patriot. It's going to have bananas, strawberries, anglaise, and raspberry coulis. Let's get working. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so we're going to chop up some strawberries mm -hmm. here. So what kind of fruits do you usually use in your, in your crepes? Um, we actually use a variety of fruits. We have kiwis, strawberries, um, for all sorts of them. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the crepes that we're going to be doing is just the Patriot, and we have one already finished with the au chocolate. I've been and eyeing that. <laughs> it looks good. It is, it is super rich. <laughs> and we actually offer at our crepery a variety of uh, crepe batters. We have four: mm -hmm. a chocolate batter, mm -hmm. um, a plain batter, which is this one, and a vegan and a buckwheat, which is gluten-free. So we try to do all the clientele. So now, can folks make crepes at home? Is this something that yes, they, people are interested in trying out? <laughs> ab absolutely, they can. Um, the crepes that, um, when you want to make them at home, you want to get your pan to around 200 degrees. Really hot. And yes, mm -hmm. and I totally recommend that you guys uh, make it the night before, mm -hmm. um, just so when you're doing your flours that everything gets all absorbed and you get the right consistency mm -hmm. on your batter, because the consistency is what matters key on your batter. And part of the fun is when you come there, you get to see crepes being made. Right. And we have an open kitchen, so we recommend everyone come up and watch the creperie chefs or whoever's there mm -hmm. um, making the crepes. So what do you? So you're using like it looks like a cake. Yep. This is a flat spatula. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes for easy access. Um, mm -hmm. I don't recommend using an offset, um, but if you're doing it at home, you're probably going to be using an omelet pan. Totally recommend nonstick using mm -hmm. pan spray or butter, whichever you prefer, mm -hmm. and we're going to do is just kind of indenture the middle of it, not to go all the way through. Then we're going to fold it over. Okay. And just let, let it cook for one minute there. Now you also have savory crepes, not just yes. the sweets. Tell we, us about those. We offer a wide variety of savory crepes. Um, we got, we kind of went off on the uh, French theme a little bit. We offer mm -hmm. Greek crepes, uh, kind of Mexican style crepes with chorizo. And I'm chorizo. sure they love them. I'm oh, sure they're delicious. Very, very popular. Let's break Michael in because he always likes to eat on the show like I do. <laughs> uh, we all do. Yes, please. I would like one of everything that is on this table right now. Okay, so, so you want to so dig in? Oh, well, wait, I'm going to hit this with raspberry oh, but wait, coulis. there's more. And we're going to hit okay. it with some anglaise. Yes, please. <laughs> Pour faster, mm. chef. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a little shaky shaky on there. Oh, Ooh, look at all that. We really do With it cream. up around here, don't we? And then we do some blueberries, and Perfect. that's why we call it the Patriot. All right, <laughs> Michael, are you ready? I am. Okay, we're going to dig in. Oh, this looks so good. And I'm tickled that you guys are going to be at Diffa this weekend. You're going to be making crepes mm. at, the, at a big yep, party this, we're going to be doing sa our, this Saturday. our crepe called the Paris. It has uh, bananas yes. and Nutella, which go hand in hand very, very well. Bananas and Nutella, mm. yes, please. Mm. Yep. Mm. Oh, you did good, chef. Yep, thank you very much. And I was going to say, um, when you come in and order at our restaurant, it's actually a barista-style setup. Um, we have these on every single table. And okay. you actually order the food, your drinks, uh, your soup, your salad, whichever it is, and we give you a number and we bring it out to you. And I think you should share. <laughs> so order a lot, many of everything. Yep. I'm going to be digging into all that. Mm -hmm. And we offer a wide range of pastries we do in-house as well. Thank you, Chef. Chef Josh, awesome. thank you so much for coming right. to the show. <laughs>